What's happening everybody? Welcome to our online CrossFit Claremont Wild Goats uh, online programming. Uh, first of all, on behalf of all of us at CrossFit Claremont, um, all of us coaches, Jace and myself, um, we want to just first of all thank you guys so much for jumping on board. Um, none of this would be possible without any of you guys existing. Um, as we're rolling through all of these um, obviously hard times, um, we're going to have to make adaptations that make it not just easier for us, but hopefully a lot better for you as well. Um, after all the drafting of the equipment is uh, handed out, um, and as we roll through all these different tracks that we have provided for you, hopefully you'll have an idea um, of what workouts will be best suited uh, for you and with what equipment you have on hand. Cool. So, um, also, Below, underneath this video, as you go into the um, comments, you'll be able to see, if you want to skip through any parts of this video, you can see if you want to just skip straight to your track, um, we'll give the time of in, when in this video, you'll be able to skip ahead towards so you can get straight into uh, what you want to do. Alrighty, so to start off with today, we have our warm up. Um, we have, and we'll start rolling through all this together, with a one minute wide leg adductor slash hammy stretch. Now we, you can use this with a barbell or you can just do this without any barbell, totally up to you. We can get our legs as wide as possible and we're going to make sure that we're dropping our chest towards the ground and not hunching or rolling out on our back, okay? Stay nice and tall and we can use our hands to crawl forward as far as possible whilst maintaining those nice straight legs on the ground, okay? If you do have a bar on hand, grab that bar and then we can pull ourselves in to get a little bit of that further stretch and then alternating side to side again that dynamic hammy stretch in you can also do this without a bar cool so we're just going to spend that uh, spend that time there for a good minute next what we'll have is a 30 um, calf pumps just to get those calves ready for today's programming we've got a lot of double unders ahead of you guys so we're going to get into a pike press position and then just alternating driving down our heels spin like for your first like 10 or so reps just like a couple seconds longer and as you roll through the following reps just get a little bit more faster warming up those calves for us cool 30 reps um we're then going to roll through two rounds of starting with our five inch crawls most of you have done this before if you haven't we're just going to simply hinge at our hips hands down towards our feet Going to crawl down into our push up plank position, do a push up, and before we crawl in, we're going to again, again get ourselves into a pike press position before crawling back up and standing up nice and tall. Five reps. We are then going to do five world's greatest stretch. So we're going to get into our push up position again, foot up close to our hand, elbow to ankle. We're going to hold there for a couple of seconds. All right, up next, we've got our bootstrap stretch. So we're going to get into the bottom of our squat position. We're going to grab our feet or get our feet underneath, our hands are underneath our feet. And we're going to push ourselves down into the ground while we're in the squat position. While we're here for the 30 seconds, feel free to get a little bit more warm up through your posterior, through your hammies, by just sending your butt up and back down. Again, as we're in the squat position, squat position make sure that we're trying to keep that chest nice and tall okay 30 seconds we'll then do 10 alternating mountain climbers so back into that push-up position and again just rolling through for a good five reps on our left five on our right alternating we're going to bring one foot up hold for a couple seconds alternating for 10 reps then we have 10 alternating reverse lunges so staying up nice and tall knees down to the knee touches the ground Stand back up nice and tall again, alternate legs. We'll roll through all of that for two rounds, okay? After we've done those two rounds, we're then just going to grab our skipping rope. And on a running clock for one minute, you're just going to do a good minute's worth of single skips. As you're skipping, warming up our skipping, make sure that we're trying to stay nice and tall, keeping our um, shoulders nice and relaxed, hands stay down nice and close to the floor. Remembering the higher your rope comes up, the harder it's going to be for you to jump over that rope. Keep those arms down close. So just for a good minute of single skips. Once you've done that minute of single skips, for those that do have double unders, I want you to now perform 20 double unders just to get them moving for the day. Again, stay nice and tall. 
Jumping tall, keeping on the balls of your feet. Nice and calm and composed. <sighs> All right. Um, so that is your warm up for today. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to roll through all these different tracks, starting with our bear track, which pretty much um, if you don't have any equipment, um, the least equipment you should have, or like at least you should hopefully have a skipping rope, okay? If you don't have double unders today, guys, you'll be scaling your double unders to double the amount of single skips, okay? So bear, we have a 15 minute AMRAP. You'll buy in to this AMRAP starting off with 200 double unders, um, just how we um, did in our warm-up before, and then 40 pike press, 100 double unders, 20 pike press. Then in the remaining time of that 15 minutes, you'll perform 20 Russian twists, 15 air squats, and 10 push-ups. For the pike press, a few different options that we can do, or a couple, we can start off just in on the ground, sending our butt up, our head through our arms, and then bringing our head down to the ground and lock out nicely at the top, okay? Remember, the further you walk in, the harder it's going to be. Feel free to grab yourself like a soft mat or towel, just a cushion that blow to your head at the bottom, okay? Um, next, our Russian twists. Um, feel free to use an odd weighted object if you want to, otherwise what we can do is just stick to our body weight. 20 Russian twists, you're going to go touching the ground on each side, making sure that your hands do touch the ground and that one touch on each side is one rep, okay? So that is one, two, three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, for 20 reps. 15 air squats. So making sure, keep it to the good standards, stay nice and tall, hit the bottom of your squat, hip crease below the knee, lock out at the top. That's two, that's three, give me 15. And then 10 push-ups back down to the ground. Remember, full range, I want that chest touching the ground and then locking out your arms at the top of your push-up. If you do not have push-ups, what we can do, we can find ourselves a chair or a bench and we can just make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Get those 10 reps out. Again, keeping that full range of motion, chest touches the bench or the ground, arms at full extension. Woo, all right. Next track we have, for those that um, were managed to grab in the draft, kettlebells or dumbbells, this is for you guys. Again, similar type of concept, 15 minute AMRAP with a buy-in of 200 double unders, 50 dumbbell snatches, 100 double unders, 25 dumbbell snatches. In the remaining time, you'll do 15 Russian dumbbell twists, 10 goblet squats, and five right, five left, dumbbell shoulder to overhead. Uh, for your dumbbell snatches, how these are going to look. Dumbbell starts in between your feet, fairly like wider stance than normal, and then you're going to lift that dumbbell up and lock it out overhead, okay? Making sure that's one big movement. We're alternating arms as well. So we can either change at the bottom or we can alternate as the dumbbell drops down towards the ground. Cool. Um, Russian dumbbell twist. So just like how we did in the bear group, but we, this time we're going to have that dumbbell doing our Russian twist, holding on to that dumbbell that's two, that's three. Make sure that at least one head of the dumbbell touches the ground on every side. Cool. Um, and then dumbbell, what was the next one? <laughs> Shoulder to our goblet squats. So again, we can hold that dumbbell nice and tall, close to our chest, hitting that full depth, locked out at the top. All right. And then five, right, five left, dumbbell shoulders overhead. We can push press it, we can push jerk it, just as long as we finished out everything locked out at the top with the dumbbell locked out overhead. So you do five right, five left. Awesome. All right, and that is bells. If you do not have a um, dumbbell, you might have a kettlebell, you can do exactly the same. Instead of dumbbell snatches, 
we're going to do kettlebell snatches. Okay, we can alternate at whenever you want for those dumbbell snatches in your buy-in. Totally up to you how you get them done. I advise evening the load on each arm so one arm's not blown out after the other, okay? Um, cool. And then with your dumbbell twists again, with that kettlebell side to side, touching the ground every rep with that kettlebell. And then um, goblet squats, again, nice and close to your body. And then dumbbell shoulder overhead. So hand stays nice and close in the middle of your body. Lock it up overhead. Five right, five left. And last but not least, business. So those are for you that manage to have um, or grab a pack um, of your barbells and plates. You'll be rolling through 15 minute AMRAP. You'll have a buy-in as well of 200 double unders, 50 thrusters. 100 double unders, 25 thrusters. Then in the remaining time, 15 Russian plate twists, 10 front squats, five push press. Um, in the buy-in itself, the weight is only going to be the bar itself. So 20 kilo bar for the men, 15 kilo bar for the ladies. When you get into the remaining time and rep, you'll add some weight where the front squats and the push press are going to weigh 50 kilos for the men, 30 kilos for the lady. If you aren't able to manage that weight, then scale down the weight um, as necessary, okay? Um, for your thrusters. So with the bar, make sure that we're able to keep a decent front rack, hitting that bottom of the squat position, thrusting that bar up so it's locked out overhead every rep. Thrusters, all right? Russian plate twist, so you'll grab one of your plates that you have, your five kilo plate, 10 kilo plate, 20 kilo plate, if you really want to touching the ground on the other side again, okay? Front squats, just like how you did in your thrusters. This time you've got a little bit more extra weight on your bar. Just hitting that bottom of your squat position, locked out at the top every rep. And then for your push press, dip and drive. Again, bar locked out overhead every rep. You can use that rebound at the bottom or load up or that dip position to get your next rep out. Alrighty. And those are your workouts for today. Have fun. Good luck. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> pause to go. 12 o'clock to Zoom. So oh yeah. Mobility class. Um, so our first uh, rollout that we're gonna be testing out on Zoom um, we'll be at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Is that right? That's, That's right. right. Sweet. All right. And then, um, oh, right. hold on, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Man, just pause it. We'll, we'll do that next. We'll do that. So yeah, if you, if you do want to jump onto that Zoom um, and check it out, all you'll need to do is create yeah. a uh, oh. account, download Zoom. It's pretty, it's pretty cruisy. Um, and then, yeah, we'll send you an invite. We'll link up. You can give it a try out at noon tomorrow. But yeah, jump on the website if you haven't seen uh, the draft information on the latest posts. Get on board and uh, yeah, let's hit it. I'll uh, chat to you later.